Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to Rogue Trotting. Believe it or not, today is Vlogmas Day 21. That means that I'm back in the States and Mike is on his way, but in the meantime, I'm joined by a special guest. Say hello to my sister Jillian. Hi. <laughs> so today we're doing something very special. So we are having a little competition to see who does Christmas better. The city of Philadelphia, where Mike and I moved to Denmark from, or the city of Copenhagen, where we live now. So before Mike left, he recorded five different videos for Jill to review about why he thinks that Copenhagen does Christmas better than Philadelphia. There are five categories and Jill is going to go around town with me and try to prove why Philadelphia does Christmas better. Are you ready for your categories? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> okay, your categories are City Hall Christmas Tree. Okay. Christmas Markets. Got it. Christmas Bar. Not Christmas Hope. Shopping. Wonderful. And wild card, so that can be anything you pick. Okay. All right. I think I'm gonna nail this. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So it's a Christmas. Who? Which city does Christmas better? And uh, we'll see what uh, what we think. Awesome. All right. Here we go. Let's do it. All right, Jill and Derek, come on. Tell me you can't get better than this scene right here. The beautiful Christmas tree standing in front of Copenhagen City Hall. Beautiful Rojos Platz and Rojos right here in the spot. Does it get more Christmassy than this right in the center of town? Tell me you can't top this. You know I've seen the Christmas tree in the middle of City Hall in Philadelphia. This is better, isn't it? Simple white lights, the Yule Ha all over the place. You saw how cool it was when Santa Claus or Yule Man lit the tree a couple weeks ago. This is the place to be. All right, Derek, so I saw Mike's video and Copenhagen City Hall's cute and everything, but it doesn't compare to Philadelphia's at all. So here is the Philadelphia Christmas tree. It's beautiful in front of a beautiful building. It's a very classic American Christmas tree, very done up. It's even topped with our Liberty Bell, which is beautiful. Um, and if that's not enough, it's also surrounded by a Ferris wheel. You have an ice skating through the other side of City Hall. You have tons of shops around it. I mean, you really cannot beat this location for our city's Christmas tree. Yeah, just like the tree, it's pretty busy, but it's also really cute. And you could actually have like a whole day here. Right. The Copenhagen Christmas tree is also pretty. It's a bit understated, just white lights, very Scandinavian minimalist. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's because I'm here right now, but I have to give it to Philadelphia. Uh, you know, there's just so much to do around here. You really could come here with the family and spend the whole day at the carousel, the ice rink, the Ferris wheel, mm -hmm. and uh, have dinner and drinks too. Yep. One point for Philadelphia. Well, I guess let's move on to the next part. All right. All right, guys, so you're going to try to convince me that the little pop-up Christmas markets across from City Hall are going to be something worth going to in Philadelphia. Come on. In Copenhagen, you've got half a dozen Christmas markets just in the main streets, plus ones in Christiania, the Christmas-themed local markets that are around town, tons of places you can go out to. Plus, in Copenhagen, you can actually have alcohol out on the streets, so you can your glog and walk around. You can't do that in Philly. You know this is the place to be. Not to mention, Denmark borders Germany, where the Christmas markets came from. Who has it more authentic, Philly or Copenhagen? Hands down, Copenhagen wins. All right, Jill, so the Christmas markets at Love Park, good choice, yes. good choice. Yes. Uh, so as you know, Love Park is a really famous park in Philadelphia. It is known for the Love Statue. Tons of people come here to take pictures in front of them. So what better place than to have the Christmas Mart here? And I know that compared to European Christmas markets, Philadelphia is definitely the underdog. But Derek, you know as well as I do that when Philadelphia is an underdog, they come out on top. <laughs> That's true, that's true. Uh, you know, I don't know if Super Bowl champion Nick Foles is at the Christmas market, Look, but... Rumor is we do have a St. Nick here, so ah, okay. is it Nick Foles? We have to see. Could be. All right, all right. <laughs> but it's also in a wonderful location. So it's right sure. across from City Hall. So you can really make a day of your Christmas shopping with this trip. You can go see the Christmas tree, you can go ice skating, and then you can come over here to our beautiful Christmas market, shop with all the local vendors, and get some really nice holiday gifts. All right. 
you sell it well, you do sell it well, but uh, yeah, I'm afraid you were right. Philadelphia, you know, it's I love my city, but you can't compete with it's European true. Christmas markets. Even though they weren't originally from Denmark, Copenhagen does such a good job with the Christmas market. So got to give it to Mike for this one. Yeah. Well, Nick Foles will be upset, but you know, on to the next place. Maybe I can secure that one for Philly. All right, let's see. <laughs> All right, Jill and Derek, I know you're going to tell me that seeing the Dickensian Village inside the Macy's on Market Street is the place to be, but come on and look at this. All the pedestrian streets in Copenhagen are full of decorations with the beautiful Julehart and lights and all kinds of fun stuff. The weather can be crap, but everybody is outside doing their shopping here along the pedestrian streets. This is the place to be. Copenhagen is where you want to do your shopping. Short sure, and go inside a mall or some shops, but why don't you want to be where the people are, just like this on Straw? Okay, Jill, so now we're on Market Street in front of Macy's. Right, which was the one that I'm most excited about, Christmas shopping. Yeah. So we are outside of Macy's, like you said, on Market Street, and this is where John Wanamaker in 1876 decided to open a one-of-a-kind store. And around Christmas time, one-of-a-kind is exactly what it is. Yeah. You have beautiful Christmas displays in all of the windows. You have a Christmas village on the inside. You have a light show that happens every hour. And not to mention a department store, Santa. I mean, Derek, it doesn't get that much more American Christmas than that. No, it was definitely beautiful and definitely gets you in the Christmas spirit. I mean, Strote uh, in Copenhagen, you know, what Mikey showed us, it is gorgeous. There's a lot of shopping, but I think a proper uh, old American like 19th century department store at Christmas like Macy's is kind of hard to compete with I mean it's kind of perfect it, it feels like what you see in the movies you know yeah yeah, yeah. so and the light show as well like it's forgot really about the cool. light show yeah I, I gotta go with uh, I gotta go with Philadelphia yes! for Christmas <laughs> shopping awesome I knew we'd win this one <laughs> All right, Jill and Derek, you're going to try to convince me that some little crap bar called Tinsel, it's not even been there long enough to be, what, a decade old, is going to be something that can compete with this behind me right here. Central Hornet, which has been here since, what, 1917, might be the oldest gay bar in the world, and it's decorated not just for Christmas, but for every single season that comes through. This is the place to be. Plus, it's a real bar. Real people go here all year long and have a great time with great music and great people. This is a great place to go to, whether it's Christmas season, the middle of summer, the spring, doesn't matter. This is where you want to be, and it's the best bar you can find for something like this at Christmas time. Plus, look at the decorations inside. So much better than Tinsel. Way to be right here. Okay, Jill, so you took me to Tinsel in the Gaberhood Midtown neighborhood. Um, it's pretty cool. Give me your pitch. Well, look, so I know it's not 100 years old, but it's still a really awesome and fun Christmas bar in Philadelphia. And it's Christmas time. I mean, we just had Buddy the Elf and Santa Claus pass us. What better place to be on Christmas than at Tinsel, celebrating with a lot of people who are in the holiday spirit. Yeah, and they may have had a little too much spirit, uh, <laughs> but it, it is pretty cool. It is. Um, it's, it's just as nice as it is inside. The decorations are cool. The atmosphere is cool. Central Huonet is just beautiful inside, and the decorations are so good. I get it. I get it. Old. I get it. And Mikey played the gay card, so you know. We're, we're by the gay That's true. That's true. Well, but no, I got I, I got to give it to Copenhagen. So yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. All right. Onward to the next. All right. All right, guys, so I've toyed with you so far, letting you think you can be in the same fight as Copenhagen for where it's best to have Christmas. But now I got the big guns. It's time for the wild card, Tivoli Gardens. Come on, second oldest amusement park in the world. Beautiful place that was the inspiration for Disneyland on the edge of Copenhagen's medieval town center. How can you beat this? Decorated for Christmas with hearts and lights and everything all over the place here. The place is magic. How can you think anything in Philly can top something as magical as Tivoli Gardens? I challenge you here, guys. What do you got? Okay, Jill, so for your wild card, uh, you took us to a place that's pretty familiar to me. Mm -hmm. So I brought us back to Pashong Square, which is where you and Mike actually spent your last Christmas together. 
So before moving to Denmark, right? <laughs> so this is in the heart of South Philadelphia. It is surrounded by amazing shops and restaurants and bars that you can go with your family or friends, even coworkers, just to celebrate the holidays. Uh, we have a beautiful tree that the neighborhood decorates during the nighttime. The whole stretch here lights up, and it's a really beautiful part of the Philadelphia community. It I is. think it. Um, it's, it's just such a wonderful place to be. And I'm trying to pull on the heartstrings <laughs> a little bit here. You definitely Because did. it is your home. Yeah. So uh, I know it doesn't necessarily compare to Tivoli in the big show of things. But I think when it comes to sort of the heart of what Christmas is all about, I think nothing really beats home. And that's why I think bringing you back to your home of South Philadelphia is my wild card. That was good. That was good. <laughs> being with family and being in uh, the place where you come from, though, mm -hmm. is it's hard to say. And, you know, I know nobody wants to see a tie. So I'll have to say, yeah, uh, I'm going to have to say Philadelphia wins because I have to say this wild card <laughs> is really special. And anybody who knows me and Mike knows that we love uh, our city, Philadelphia, and we love our neighborhood, our old neighborhood in Philadelphia and South Philly. Um, of Pashyunk and it's just yeah really special to be here and uh, so it's well, a win but I'll, we can call it like a soft tie a soft tie yeah <laughs> <laughs> let's go with that because look as long as you're where you love at Christmas as long as you know we're so lucky we get to spend part of our Christmas time in Copenhagen and then part of our Christmas time here in Philadelphia that's really special so mm -hmm. everything wins everyone wins <laughs> Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching and uh, please make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already and make sure to hit the bell for notifications so that whether it's Vlogmas or after Vlogmas you can get all of our videos as soon as they are published. And as long as you like this video make sure to watch more rope trotting videos and have a very Merry Christmas. Yes and thank you Jill for joining us today. Thank you Mike back in Copenhagen and thank you most of all for watching and Merry Christmas. Bye.